Okay, good morning, everyone. And um, everything I hope. And uh, today I'm going to present to you my report, which is the basic concepts in research. Uh, my presentation, uh, at the end of my presentation, we will be able to explain what a problem statement is. We will be able to list sources for research problems. We will be able to explain what a hypothesis is and describe its purpose and understand what a variable is and how variables are used in research. This presentation will briefly discuss research problems, uh, hypothesis, variables, and relating the concepts. And I will explain the connection between these three important concepts. The most basic element of a research project is the research problem. Why is this study being conducted? What do the researchers hope to learn? Research problem is the phenomenon at the center of the research study. According to Macmillan, the research problem comp comprises one or more sentences that indicate the study's goal, purpose, or overall direction. The research problem implies the possibility of empirical investigation. It also provides an overview, makes the research much easier to understand. The research problem serve as a link between what the literature reports that is happening and what would happen in an ideal situation. Ultimately, the research problem tells why a study is important and should make clear the way in which the results of the study might serve as a bridge between what we know and what the researcher intends for us to know when the study is concluded. Um, a research problem generally represents three components of the study, its context, its purpose, and its potential significance. Uh, context summary and explanation of the current knowledge and literature. The purpose is, is a general goal of the study, and the significance is the potential contribution of the research to knowledge or practice. And the sources of the research problems are individual experiences and interest, which is, the, which is the experiences or interest not substitute for theory and evidence. And the other one is a draw from theories developed in other disciplines. And the last one is the previous research. The previous research, it can be replication and extension and identify gaps or logical next steps. Research questions is the part of the phenomenon we want to know more about, what we hope to learn from the study. Research questions identifies the part of the topic that we want to be better understand. And research question presented is as a question like how, what, when, and why. And if multiple research questions are not uncommon. A logical next step once the problem statement, a statement and research question have been identified, it, uh, it is to develop the research hypothesis. The research hypothesis is the projection of what we expect to learn. According to Macmillan, hypotheses are educated or guesses or tentative expectations about a correct solution to a problem. Descriptions, uh, possible relationships or uh, differences. In research, a hypothesis is typically the investigator's projection or expectations about how the variables in the study are related. In short, a uh, hypothesis is a projection that is made prior to data collection. Hypothesis identifies what we think the answers to the research questions will be. 
uh, it is testable, verifiable, and other characteristics like inducive versus deductive, null versus alternative. The purposes hypothesis may serve as presentation of relationships to be tested, keeps research focus on intended outcomes, may support refute existing theory, post new theory, context for interpretations, establish expectations of projective relationships, guide organization of literature review, methods, results, discussion, and etc. When we conduct research, the things we attempt to measure or manipulate are called variables. So why is why is a variable? Why is there more than one type of variables? No. Variables is the things we plan to manipulate or observe for data collection. Variables are characteristics that vary across participants in the population. It can be independent variable or dependent variable. The independent variable is that precedes another variable of interest. The variable that influences or predicts another variable of interest. It's often the variable that is manipulated. The other hand is that in the, uh, the other hand is dependent variable. The dependent variable is a variable that uh, follows another variable of interest. Variable that is influenced or predicted by another variable of interest. The outcome variable, the variable that is studied to see how it changes when the independent variable is manipulated. Ways to define variables. The two most common types of variables definitions are conceptual definitions and operational definitions. The conceptual definitions is the statement that describes a variable using words or concepts like a dictionary. The other one is the operational definition, how a concept is measured for research purpose. The examples in this table that conceptual definitions are broader summaries of a phenomenon of interest, while the operational definitions explains how the phenomena or variables are measured specific, specifically for that study. Research problems, hypothesis, and variables relate not only to each other, but to all the other aspects of research design. This is the illustration of the relationships and the flow between the different elements of research and expectation of, the, of a research project. Research problems are the first step and we develop research questions about those problems to create a meaning for why the study matters. Next, we formulate hypotheses that helps us to focus the research by identifying what we think the answers to our research questions will be or what we expect to find from our study given our hypothesis, we select variables that will allow us to test and draw conclusions about the hypothesis. And ultimately, the research questions that we're asking on, once we know what variables we're going to collect data on, we design the study and collect the data which are used to answer the research questions. An important thing to keep in mind is that all the elements of a research project are connected, but they're also fluid. And these are my references of my presentations. And that's and thank you for uh, for listening my presentation and have a good day everyone.